Hi friends, welcome back to Crypto Talk, your go-to source for deep insights into the world of crypto. In today's video, we are going to dive deep into a critical discussion and that is if Pi Network is going to learn from the mistakes of Bitcoin or is it heading down the same speculative path that Bitcoin has followed over the years. No doubt, Bitcoin has revolutionized the financial world, but it has also came with major challenges. High volatility, speculative holding, and limited reward adoption as a currency. You know, high network. Can it avoid these pitfalls, or will history repeat itself come 28th February 2025? If it's something that interests you, please stick around to find out and don't forget to like, subscribe and hit that bell notification for more crypto updates and insights. For all my returning subscribers, I thank you so much and for those that are coming for the first time, you are most welcome. This is a place to be. Before I start, my name is Edwin. You know, Bitcoin has cemented its place as a digital gold, but its flaws are hard to imagine. They're always staring us in the face. Take for instance, Bitcoin's price swings widely. It makes it very, very unreliable and unpredictable for everyday currency. And what's more, it makes it extremely difficult to make budget and plans due to its price swing and instability in price. Coupled with that, Bitcoin has this problem of holding culture among those that actually has Bitcoin, you know. Many investors hold Bitcoin as a speculative asset rather than spending it. And the effect is that it limits its utility as a medium of exchange because so many of them have kept it there. So there's nothing else to spend and there is no more of this currency out there for other people to hold. The price goes up and it becomes out of reach for everyday people. And there's also another big challenge of its slow and its high costs of transaction. You know, Bitcoin transaction can take up to a minute to even an unbelievable hours to confirm. And this often leads or comes with a very, very high transaction fee. So when you put this together, it becomes something that is completely far removed from what an everyday, you know, investor can deal with or everyday person can use as a medium of exchange. Then Bitcoin also have this thing with it, the institutional control. You know, over time, whales and institutional investors have taken complete control of Bitcoin, making Bitcoin even less decentralized as it say it is. So having seen all of this, thing, let's look at um, the potential fit for that uh, Pi Network may have to avoid and as we know, Pi Network has positioned itself as a next generation digital currency for everyday use. Here's how PyCoin might take its matter path and navigate itself from this pitfall that Bitcoin has suffered. Focus on reutility, you know. Unlike Bitcoin, Pi aims to be used for daily transactions, not just store as an investment asset. So if uh, PyCoin could succeed into getting itself into the hearts and minds of uh, everyday people, the suppliers, the investors, the manufacturers, the retailers and the buyers and everybody that plays, you know, the role in the commerce world uh, to adopt Pi Network. Uh, Pi Network will become a re-utility asset and with that, the Pi Network would have passed the first hurdle of the challenge that Bitcoin face. And, and another challenge that Pi Network will have to surmount to is that if Pi encourages peer-to-peer -peer transactions within its ecosystem, you know, if that should happen, that means that Pi Network will reduce seriously the overdependence or reliance on centralized exchanges. I heard recently that how so many exchanges are jotting to have their spots in listing Pi Network. If 
all of these exchanges coming to play are coming like the everyday cryptocurrency then we might just be seeing the coffin being carved out for Pi Network and that will spare doom if Pi Network is to go down the road of what goes on on the exchange speculative trading up and down you dump you buy and you hold and all of that Pi Network might just suffer the same fate as Bitcoin if Pi Network is to be designed for mass adoption, then Pi Network must be built to handle transactions effectively and faster. And not forgetting, it must be very, very cheaper. In real life, I've seen how people who are close to me complain for just small charges that our traditional bank charges them. So then here comes the big, big roadblock. Pi network can avoid, and if it does avoid this, then it just might have succeed as a crypto for the everyday people, and it might have become the model for future cryptocurrency, and that is stability model. You know, one key question is whether Pi will adopt a pegging mechanism. I am not dismissing the authenticity of the GCV or whether it's going to be real or not, but what I'm saying is that the stability model should answer the question of what Pi Network is going to peg its price. So the pegging mechanism to maintain a stable value. Because if Pi Network does not maintain a stable value, Pi Network will suffer. No doubt and nothing anyone can do about it. The same fate that Bitcoin suffer. So Pi Network should ensure that it peg its value to something real. If Pi Network fails to become stable, Pi Network will fall into the same speculative trap that Bitcoin has. And the consequences is going to be nothing but severe. One, is going to cause this thing I call dumping frenzy. You know, early adopters will rush into the exchanges to dump the pi coin for profits and this will result in a price crash that we follow and it's going to be very destructive for pi network if all of what we have mentioned is not properly addressed merchants are going to be hesitant in adopting pi network and this will be because the price of pi will be very unstable and if that happens, it means that it is going to be extremely difficult for mainstream adoption as a currency because no business model can make budget based on an unstable you know, currency. The target of big online stores like Amazon, Alibaba, AliExpress, Ocean Exports, in eBay and so many big online stores will not even want to consider adopting Pi Network because companies using Spy as a store of value or means of payment will be struggling to plan their finances. And if this price fluctuation become unpredictable, then the whole idea of making Pi uh, a digital world currency or everyday currency or a mass adopted cryptocurrency would have been defeated. And can Pi Network achieve stability? Well, to truly avoid Bitcoin pitfall, the first thing Pi need to do is it need to implement a stable crypto model. And so in conclusion, is Pi Network a smarter part or just another crypto trap? It has this potential to solve Bitcoin's flaws. But everything depends on how it manages its launch. If Pi achieves stability and mass adoption, it could redefine digital currency. If not, it risks becoming just another speculative token. Friends, what do you think? Will Pi Network break the cycle or follow Bitcoin paths? Let me know in the comments. And if you enjoy this video and this breakdown, please be sure to like this video, share and 
subscribe to Crypto Talk for more insightful crypto discussion. I am definitely hoping to see you in the next video. I love you so much. Peace. I'm out.